We'll guide you through how to fix your iPhone screen not rotating. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's really annoying when your iPhone screen won't rotate because maybe you're trying to type something or watch something. So the first thing you want to go and check is the orientation lock is switched off. This is the most common problem is that you've got it switched on. To go and disable it, drag down from the battery in the top right of your phone like so. And then you've got this icon here. You want to go and click on it so it's unselected and it then says orientation lock off. And then you should be able to go and freely rotate your phone. If that didn't work for you, then the next thing we need to do is go and open our settings, scroll down and go and click on display and brightness and scroll down again until you can go and see display and we can click on display zoom. Now, what you want to do is try changing this setting and changing it back. So mine's currently on default. So what I'll do is I'll select larger text. I'll then press done. I'll confirm my decision. It'll go and restart. And then in a moment, I'll change it back to default. However, if you also was already on larger text and zoomed, then try changing it back to default and then back to larger text. Then what I'll do is I'll click on default again, press done, and I'll press use standard. And sometimes just switching this setting on and off can go and solve the problem. Once you've done that, then go and see if your iPhone screen will then go and rotate and go and see if the problem has been solved. And of course, do just make sure orientation lock is still off as well. If that still hasn't fixed your problem, then it's worth doing a force restart on your phone um, and that will go and remove glitches or bugs. To do that, you press the increase volume button, then the decrease and you hold the power button. You'll see the screen with the slide option at the top, but don't worry, just keep holding the power button and you only let go when you see the Apple logo. I see it now, so I'll let go and it will restart. After your iPhone is restarted, you can then see if the problem has been resolved and hopefully it has been. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.